What is up YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. In today's video, I got an educational video, okay? A little bit of education about chords and using Scalar 2.4 VST. So you must have Scalar 2. If not, you might as well click off the channel or you can stay to the end and uh, watch this magic that I'm cooking up. But anyways, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you get any video upload to the channel. You know, we always doing live streams. Um, you can buy MIDI or loot packs from me at hollywoodfloss.bstars.com and uh, buy some merch. All right, hollywoodfloss.bstars.com. So yeah, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Stay in tune stay in the know all right okay so i got scalar 2 opened up remember you must have scalar to do this this is not a trick um it's just some knowledge that's all about chords so many times when we open up scalar we go right to just just clicking right away right we go to the songs we try to find some easy chords or whatever we go to the artist and see if there's anything in the artist um Dope, 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 right? Well, let's say we want to start from scratch and just wanted to learn ourselves, okay? So we're gonna clear all this out, all right? So we're just gonna start from scratch, all right? And we're gonna learn how to get better loops by using this technique in Scalar 2, all right? So the first thing you wanna do, let most of us in hip hop like the C minor, all right? So we're gonna get into a scale and we're gonna go to the number five pad the modulation pad all right and we're going to come here to the selected scale and we're just going to go to c minor all right very common scale everyone knows everybody can figure this out now what happens in hip-hop is we usually get stagnated on just a four chord progression now of course there's other people out there that do way more than that but for the most part we get stuck on that four loop chord progression all right that four bar loop chord progression four chords stuck in that all right well here's a new technique that we can use in scalar and then we'll try it out i have c minor and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click the modulation preset and i'm going to go to medians all right and then i'm just going to click on some chords i'm going to click on four chords that's the first one and it plays it at the bottom last chord played Ooh, sounding good, right? Now, this is where we would stop and circle back around to C. But what this does is it allows us to see what we should play next. And it's going to highlight it in blue, and in blue means it's in key, all right? So I'm going to click this one. Then it's going to give me two options, all right? Alright, and then you can go back to, to that, and then you have a different chord progression. So the first chord progression was C, E flat, G, B flat, and then you went G, B, uh, B flat, G, E flat. So you, you, you didn't end up using C again. Alright, dope, alright, pretty dope. And we can see how that sounds. We can um, see how that sounds as we gather it up put it down here and then we could drag it and I have Electra X opened up all right so it's not just the same chord progression this is something dope all right all right then it loops around okay so we got something cool out of there right Let's do that again. Let's see if we can come up with something else. All you have to do here is press clear. Now this is good for loops on uh, that are spontaneous. It doesn't take too long. Let's say you want to do a loop pack. You want to put 50 loops in there. I can already use this. And then you know you would add some little accents or top notes and um, you can layer it and all that. All right, cool. Let's go back in. Let's clear everything out. We can save it if we want to, but we don't want to save it. We just want to clear everything out. All right. Let's start again. Let's use, I don't know, D minor. All right. And this time we're going to go 1 and then 7, 2, 
three, and then we can go five. We haven't used okay. Let's see how this sounds. We're gonna take this out, and it's just something that you can use if you feel like you're in a creative block. So. that okay so just a tool for you to use just in case you feel like you're in a creative block okay so now let's take this one and we're gonna drag it on over all right and now we're gonna so we know we're in D minor we can go to the helpers scaling D natural minor and now you can come in and now you can and now you can go in and then have your hi-hats and all this stuff starting off we'll get we'll use that We'll use this kick, and then I have some MIDI. Don't forget, you can go to hollywoodfloss.beatstars.com, and you can get my MIDI pack called Bricks, all right? It's on sale right now, and what it does, it gives you a foundation. These same MIDI kits that I can easily drag and drop over, just like this. You can easily drag and drop that MIDI over and you already have a foundation for a track. So go get that. Okay. And um, let's do one more. All right. Let's do one more. So we got um, Scalar 2 opened up again. We're going to clear it out. We're going to clear it out. And then this time we're going to go into like a harder scale. Um, E Ukrainian Dorian scale I have know nothing about this scale so we're going to just try to do something see how it works we're going to do a four bar okay so we don't want that one Alright, the last one. So now it has three suggestions. The A sharp. I want to go to something I haven't went to before. G minor. Alright. So it just gives you ultimate chords to go through. And you can figure it out from there. It's your boy Hollywood Floss. The worst producer of all time. This is a Scalar 2.4. Just in case you don't get it. You know, you don't have that. And it just gives you. Actually, remember you go to modulation and then medians and then you pick out four or one you can just pick out one if you want and it'll do the rest for you it just gives your mind a reset button of how you think about chords and it lets it take over for you so scale of 2.4 i always recommend this i always 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 recommend this plug-in one of the top plugins of all time let me know what you thought about this. Did you learn anything? Would you like to learn something else about Scalar? Do you want more cookups with Scalar? Let your boy know. I got you. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, HWFloss. Yes, HWFloss and BeatStars. HollywoodFloss.BeatStars.com. That's where I spend most of my time. All right? Peace.